New Thought Media Network. We are a global broadcast network of positive music, media, and entertainment. Inspiring humanity's evolution along the journey of enlightenment and creating a world of love, peace, empowerment, and prosperity for all. New Thought Media Network. Positively inspiring. We invite you to join our prayer broadcast every day at 8.15 a.m. and 8.15 p.m. Mountain Time. Send us your prayer requests or schedule a private prayer session by emailing prayer at ntmedia.org. And now, it's time to pray together. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Welcome, folks. Welcome whenever and wherever it is that you are listening we're watching this. My name is Zoe Demiro. I'm a licensed practitioner here on the New Thought Media Network. I'm located in Oakland, California, in the United States, and I just wanted to welcome you, as always, to this wonderful time together. Let's see. Oh, hello, Garrett. Always good to see you. Yes, indeed, it is lovely to be here in Affirmation. And that is precisely what we do here. We affirm. We don't beg. We don't beseech. What we are doing is affirming. We are aligning with truth. That is what we do. And we do that through prayer. <clears throat> when we pray affirmatively, what we are doing is understanding and recognizing and remembering those details of who and whose we are. Oh, and hello, Linda. Yes, the snowy mountains of Colorado. I've heard that you folks have been getting a bunch of snow. <laughs> oh, so good to have you here. Okay, so this morning, um, my inspiration came from Science of Mind magazine. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Science of Mind magazine, it's, it's quite wonderful. Um, there is a practitioner by the name of Eugene Holden, who each month has personal affirmations. Uh, and I wanted to bring up one portion of what he had to say. <clears throat> so this is entitled Avail Yourself. There is a power for good in the universe, and we can use it. We can use it only when we avail ourselves of it. Choose to use the gift of love and the power of the law to live out loud. I am open, receptive, and available to the gifts of the Spirit. I open myself to allowing the power of the universe to use me for good. And so it is. What a wonderful affirmation that is. And it encompasses so many things that can make our life so much easier, so much more graceful. You know, we use that word graceful and we tend to use it, well, I tend to use it when I'm thinking of movement or I'm thinking of how someone approaches something gracefully. But graceful, full of grace. Yes, if we recognize that, if we see that we are indeed blessed and that we are indeed filled with grace, we have so much more opportunity, so much more strength, so much more fortitude. So let's take this into prayer. I'll invite you to close your eyes or soften your gaze if you're comfortable in doing so, and if it's safe for you to do so. Take a breath with me. A nice deep inhalation and a strong exhalation, allowing ourselves to be fully present to this moment, 
recognizing that in this moment, each and every one of us is whole, complete, and absolutely perfect. Mm. And that breath also reminds me of life, and life I know comes from the one. Life is love. Life is harmony. Now, my life, Zoe, my life, is not always feeling harmonious. Far from it. But by opening myself to the grace of the one, opening myself to that power of love, I find the opportunities to open myself to a greater power than I could possibly imagine. I open myself to more possibilities. I open myself to that invitation to be the place where the light and the love the one shines in this world. I recognize that life is a participatory sport. It's not something to sit back on the couch and watch. It's something to get involved in, to get out on that field, if you will, and to engage. Because it's in that engagement it is in our ability to open to all of the gifts that we have been given as our divine birthright because we are part of the one. Having all of that available to us, but knowing, truly knowing, which is not an intellectual thing, knowing is a feeling thing. It's a matter of being able to tap into that central part of who we are, the divine, the part that is always present, but the part that I sometimes forget, the part that I sometimes ignore, the part that despite my, my worst intentions <laughs> is always present for me and always willing and always able to lift my vibrational energy if I allow it. And that allowance, oh, how glorious that is. We speak of love. We speak of law. Each of these is an integral part of our ability to manifest. Recognize and remembering that the love of the one informs and guides each and everything that we do. If we are open to it, if we allow it. Okay. And knowing that the law accepts what we present. The law always says yes. The law is simply there to manifest as we have expressed and as we have held and as we have focused on our intentions. And so knowing that I have these, these two incredible forces working, love and law. I know that as I open myself to possibility, as I allow all of that to work in my spirit, to work in my mind, to work in my life, I can bring about a far greater existence than I would have otherwise. All, all that I desire, all that is of my greatest good is always available to me.
that knowledge provides a sense of peace. That knowledge provides a sense of comfort. But I must make use of the knowledge. Hmm. Recognizing the wholeness, the perfection and the completeness of who and whose I am provides me with a path provides me with an understanding, provides me with opportunities unlimited. And so in that knowledge, that deep knowing, in that feeling, in that alignment with that incredible strength and power, to be aligned with that flow, I give thanks because I know in my joy and in my thanksgiving that the gifts of the one are always present. So with that knowledge and in thanksgiving, I release my word. I release it to the law which always says yes. And so it is. <clears throat> oh, hi, Garrett. So Garrett is affirming prayers for Abby's next job interview and for her to be open, receptive to receiving that gift. Hmm. Well, Garrett, while I did not specifically see this prior to my prayer, I think we've got it covered. And I see for Abby that she is indeed open and receptive to the gifts of the Spirit, allowing her to be fully who she is. How magnificent that is. How magnificent she is. How magnificent you are. And Linda and all, all of you folks are magnificent. No question about it. Blessed be, and so it is. Thank you, Linda. <clears throat> All right, folks. Today on the New Thought Media Network, speaking of blessings and <clears throat> gifts and such, we present a whole slew of magnificent magnificent, magnificent presenters, and magnificent topics. So immediately following this prayer time is the morning sip with the fabulous Rev. Melissa. And sip is spirituality in practice. 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time, viviendo en oración, living in prayer. 11 a.m. Mountain Time, Rev. Dr. Sherry Johnson presents Global Focus today. Our guest today is Reverend Dr. Claire Summerhill. 12 p.m. Mountain Time, Inclusive Church with practitioner Dr. Tracy Brown and her guest Abigail Scherer. At 1 p.m. Mountain Time, a new show, relatively new. Um, that's 1 p.m. Mountain Time, Real Talk Sisters with the dynamic, unbelievable trio of Reverend Dr. P.J. Stanley, Reverend Kim Andrews, and the very talented Reverend Melinda Allen. And then at 2 p.m. Mountain Time today, we have new thought today. So, spectacular things going on here in the network. And I sincerely hope that you have an opportunity to avail yourself of them. Until we meet again, I wish you magnificence because it's who and whose you are. Namaste. On behalf of everyone at New Thought Media Network, thank you for being a member of our virtual family. Your financial contributions help share the New Thought message with people from around the world. Please visit and contribute at www.ntmedia.org forward slash 
donate. New Thought Media Network. Come be you. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace and blessings.